Papers has a number of built-in repositories in which you can search, but you can always search from additional repositories as well. First, let's look at the built-in ones. From the settings in the search window, you can select which ones you would like to use. But if your favorite repository is not present in this list, I will now show you how to add it as a source. First, let me copy the link to the repository I will be using, and for this example, we'll use one for patents. Now going back to Papers, we will add this repository as a source that will show up in the Website section. Click on File, New, and Website to create this entry. I'll paste the URL in the appropriate place in the Inspector window and add a title. Double-clicking on this newly created source will open the website in a new tab. Let's do a search to show how easily we can import patents directly into papers from this source. Here's the entry for a patent that we might want to save to our papers patent library. I can select the abstract and copy it to add it to my metadata later. Every repository is different, and in this case we can find the actual patent documents under the Documents tab. When I click on the PDF link, I can directly download the PDF to my library. By editing the entry details, we can easily and quickly change this document to a patent. This not only gives us patent-specific information in the inspector window, but it also ensures this document is added to the Patents and Law section of our library. Not all PDFs automatically include all the metadata you might want, so in this case I will just quickly paste the abstract I copied earlier. Take a peek at the Patents and Law section of the library and you'll see the document has been filed there. There might be more documents to the patent you would like to download. You can keep everything together by downloading these additional documents as supplements. For this, we will go back to the web entry for this patent. Papers will ask if this document is a supplementary file. If you would like or if necessary, you could also use this file to replace the previously downloaded file as the main entry for this patent. In this case, we will just keep it as a supplement. You can see it was downloaded successfully and with quick look you can verify the document is actually there. Like this, you can add any number of additional repositories to your source list and save them for future searches. Enjoy using Papers!